Hello and welcome to Hadoop Exam Learning Resources. In this session, we will be covering the problem scenario number 8. 7 I will not be covering, that is very easy to do task actually. So, all the steps are given over here. You just follow it and you ac can accomplish the same. Okay, so now let's move to the next exercise. What exactly it is asking us to do? We have to set up Cloud Era Manager CDH with the HDFS should be installed on each node in the, uh, in the cluster. Okay, so the role assignment should be like this name node O should be on master 101, secondary name node should be node 102, balancer should be on no master 101, NFS gateway should be on all four nodes, and data node should be on node 102, 103, and 104. Master should not have a name node. Okay, <laughs> so that is what we have to do uh, exactly during the installation. So uh, now go here on the UI, okay, and it uh, add cluster. Click here, add cluster button, and what exactly it is saying next step? Now continue uh, with this service, and now select the required things as it is being asked. So continue, okay. Uh, search for hostname and IP addresses, okay, which uh, we have to do this again, which we have done in previous exercise so what I'll do I'll just type in master 101.hadoopexam.com and for other node uh, I'll just copy this 224 4 and this is node One zero two, one zero three, one zero four. Okay, search for this. We should be able to get or uh, something missing here. Okay, a uh, host could not be found. Okay, sorry, mm, my mistake. It should be not mode node. Now search. Okay, so now all four nodes are available here. Correct. Now select all four okay what happens okay so this node are already added here so we don't have to do to anything actually sorry so these are not new hosts these are existing hosts so there is nothing to do so that's the reason this step is not mentioned here okay so now uh, select this node and uh, this all four nodes and then click continue okay so now again parcels okay so parcel repository for cdh5 we have already given so we are not going to do any change over here okay so this is where locally the parcels would be installed on a node uh, this is the local repository okay local uh, location and as this is the cdh5 version which would be installed okay now you can see the progress just click continue and uh, you uh, you can see like on each node this parcel would be downloaded and uh, then distributed uh, if to each node and then unpacked on each node then they would be activated so you have to wait to uh, the step to get finished so let's wait for some time the step to get finished meanwhile i wanted to tell you please visit hadoopexam.com and uh, these are the all certifications which we are providing currently okay uh, so this is all certification preparation material so you can see like specific to this and this is all training material also we are providing so we are also looking for actually uh, the trainer author and uh, certification preparation material all uh, resources who can help us to prepare the certification material so I'm sure uh, you would be having some skill set in uh, one or any specific area uh, for which you would be able to provide the training or you should be able to create uh, write some books or you should be able to create the certification material okay so uh, your entire material would be protected by us actually we will we'll make sure 
transfer or like uh, as much as possible this would not be uh, like uh, freely transferred or would be misused or something like that it would be I uh, will make sure like other publishers we have seen like free PDFs and everything is available but we'll try to make sure it would not be get distributed and uh, you will get the whatever effort you put you will get the return so you will get a good revenue sharing once the prep uh, material is prepared and would be able to uh, sell on the our uh, whatever the selling uh, resources we have like one of them is the hardupexam.com and there are other sources through which we can sell the your uh, material okay even if you are a trainer and if you wish to provide the training uh, on the then also you can uh, uh, contact us uh, using uh, on this hardupexam at gmail.com just drop an email with your skill set or you can just fill in the form from your author and trainer so which we, we can contact you so let's go ahead what is the status now uh, okay so now its download is completed on all four node okay so just if you click here so now it is dis being distributed on all four node so wait it to be get finished you can see their progress as well here so this is download 100% is done it is being distributed on each node in the cluster so this is the status some meantime you sometimes you might see this is converted into the red color because their health is not good that particular node so you can see this is in the red color but now it's all in blue color so what is being done distribution is being done on each node uh, it is in progress the speed is 18 mbps I am getting it so based on your laptop speed uh, hard disk speed SSD if you are using then you will get faster results so that is what so let's it will take some time so I have to use the very general purpose laptop with 16 GB RAM Windows operating system so if I am able to do this with a very general purpose laptop so you should be able to do this with if you have advanced configuration okay so but 16 GB RAM is minimally required for to do this activity now distribution is done for each node downloaded and distributed activity is done so sometimes it seems like it is taking quite long time but uh, and it is hang and it is not progressing or something don't worry it is progressing it will take some time and suddenly it will finish it actually so once so it is uh, keep progressing so you can see each node is working here so, uh, so like uh, being unpacking is being started uh, is done uh, is being started okay so it will take some time to get it finished so it is an entire CDH being uh, unpacked correct so it will take time it is a huge direct uh, for uh, parcels okay so it will take some time so wait it to be get finished okay now it's completed uh, cluster installation okay activated now click continue and uh, it will check some things uh, like something wrong with your installation or something so it is inspecting each individual host if you want you can skip this in the exam if it is asked to be skipped you can skip it else you have to wait for it to be completed I hope this exercise you will not get in the real exam because uh, installation will take some time and it's a time consuming exercise to depend on the, the like their cluster configuration and speed and everything it's matter but uh, the installation is quite time consuming part so our steps are easy to accomplish but it is a time consuming so now we are done with this X step and uh, some host checking will be going on so if there is any issue it will report it however we are going to ignore it crowder or recommend setting proc this swappiness things and uh, this page compactation etc so that you can ignore it anyway so I'll wait it's uh, the same would be reported here so I'm ignoring this and everything else is okay okay so this is your parcel contains this many things you can see here this is all things are in your parcels okay so now finish it out and what exactly next it is saying custom services now we have to install core 
uh, now the service which we have to install either HDFS and YARN, Zookeeper or HDFS YARN. so these are the various combination which you can install it but I'll select the custom because we are just going to install only HDFS nothing else so click continue and uh, we'll be installing the HDFS and uh, as it is being asked in the ex questions so now we have to select name node and master 101 okay secondary name node on node 102 okay node 102 you can change it balancer on master 101 this is selected correctly HTTPFS on master 101 or you can ignore it if you want it so if it, as it is NFS gateway should be on each node so let's select all and the data node only on 102 to 104 uh, th 3 and 4 or not on master node th okay so now click continue so this service is being installed okay so the review changes you can just check the your changes configuration so uh, 128 MB is the block size uh, data node field volume tolerated zero okay so data node directory which is the d uh, dn data node directory which is the name node uh, data directories and hdfs checkpoint directories okay so this is all it is being configured here just i'll keep everything as default until it is being asked to change uh, we, so we can uh, continue here and now you can proceed the progress for each step so these are the steps which will be accomplished as part of this uh, HDFS installation once it is done you will see everything is completed and then uh, you should see the status okay so now let's wait uh, it is being installed okay waiting for Cloudera manager now deploying client configuration okay so this is being con client configuration is deployed on on the host on the all four host okay so now formatting the name name directories so formatting is done okay even you can see the full logs if you want it if there is any log or error or so so something you can check it here okay so there is nothing as such now you can see is it is starting the HDFS okay so there are 10 things will be done to as part of starting HDFS service here so all the things has been done here okay now next is what exactly creating the HDFS TMP directory okay in HDFS file system it is try to create the TMP directory and it will take time so some time it might uh, retry many times because it is not properly yet started our system so it will take time to uh, properly start it then once it is temp directory created creation is successful then uh, you can say your HDFS installation is successful however it will take time to do this actually because uh, various things is being set up uh, during the HDFS installation in the cluster okay so let's wait it to be get finished okay now you can see it has tried 19 times before creating the directory so it retired 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 now finally temp directory has been created now continue and congratulations your uh, cluster setup is done and HDFS is installed now you can see there are some all health status and some warnings would be reported here because we have small cluster small uh, space small memory and everything is not uh, as per the production specific and which is cloud error recommended correct so that's the thing so re reason we will be getting some alert and everything everything so what I would suggest some alert we have to uh, suppress it as well so let's check configuration first and uh, log directories and not this uh, this is all health status so name node health uh, which we have to wait uh, swappiness we can just suppress it okay uh, swappiness everywhere is we can because we have not too much memory so we can suppress swappiness error we can just uh, warning alert can be uh, suppress it name node health obviously we have to check for m name node health so we have to wait okay so to be so now cloud era is in proper state all hosts are in a proper state so you can check the all the host here 
so this all four host and the, on each host you can see like uh, which how many rules are installed okay so this is the IP address you should be able to uh, check this host page okay so these are the all hosts this is their IP address nine rules are installed which nine rules this is HTTPFS name node is there gateway is installed on this cloud era manager is installed uh, cloud era management service event server monitor server report server so this many nine rules have been installed on this and uh, this sec is on this node 102 uh, is nfs gateway data node and secondary name node so three three rules are on this and uh, on the node so this is gateway and the data node only correct so this is same here uh, last heartbeat is 11.65 second ago and so this is heartbeat when last load average okay right now ignore this disk space 48 GB is uh, on this each node has 48 GB available out of 13.5 GB is consumed in the master node 6.3 GB consumed in this node 102 6.4 GB on, on uh, this node 103 and 7.2 GB on node 104 it is consumed okay physical memory we have assigned 7 GB RAM out of 7 GB 4.3 GB is consumed here out of 2.7 GB here consume 868 so this is the place where you can check the what is the memory available and uh, what is consumed the swap space you can just uh, ignore this column right now okay so this is all you have to keep monitoring okay so now this is all you can see all host in the good status uh, all HDFS in the good status and some configuration is uh, in uh, this orange color okay amber color so this is the uh, some configuration issue it is reporting java heap size of name node in bytes so this is like whatever we have heap size that is available suggested minimum value 4 gb but we are okay with the 1 gb so i will again sus suppress it so this is fine memory over commit value validation threshold suppress it all memory related because we don't have memory so similarly this is again heap space maximum known java memory service it's all memory related we have to just uh, suppress this values because we don't end have anywhere so now this is the our overall health of the our cluster is in green state which we whatever we want to ignore it we have ignored it okay so now you can see this is the exercise which we have to come accomplish okay so there we have also suppressed uh, many alerts and everything and uh, how do you restart the service if it is required so you can even configuration disk th space threshold if you want to change you can go here configuration disk space, space threshold values so you can check here uh, warning would come if it is 10 GB remain if it is a 5 GB remain so then it is a critical so this is all values if you want to change it you can change it but we have considered 50 GB as a disk space so we are not getting any warning as of now this screenshot is taken when I have configured with 20 GB disk space so that's the reason various alert is coming so because space was not available to configure many things so that's all about uh, in this session thanks thanks for watching and i hope you like this session and in the next session we'll cover the next remaining scenario of the cca 131 thank you and if you are watching on youtube don't forget to subscribe it because we are keep uploading new sessions you'll get the alert thank you